what's going on guys it's uh it's warming up a little bit now you see i've got my woolly hat on we're at kane county so we spent a good couple of hours at the flea we found some really nice stuff but um it's time to hit the toy show and see what we can find let's, let's go it. let's go Busy. Yes. It's really busy. Yeah. Let's see how we go, guys. <coughs> yeah, I'm. Funko's. Funko's, I'm just gonna be passing on. Yeah, Funko Pops. Yeah. Nah, this is all the sort of stuff you get in the UK. So. It's all modern stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have bags to accommodate or do you require one? Excuse me. This is JP. Huh? You guys got the GoPro going on? I have, yeah. For YouTube. There you go. Oh, you got a channel? I have, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. He's got a really uh, well known channel. Oh, is he? Yeah, it's like Jurassic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> All Jurassic. <laughs> That's a lot of good stuff. Don't grab me back. I'm fucked on price. Get to this. Mm -hmm. I want to pay. Yeah, like five bucks. <laughs> How much is What's the Wreck It Ralph? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it does, it does, yeah. Hey, look. These are all priced individually. Like 60, look, these are real ones. I'm actually going to pinch them. Yeah. Yeah. What um, what one was it you needed? Shredder. No, I got it. Nah. I'm gonna go see. They're the sort of things I wanted. They're not. That's not bad. Ninety for the box turtles. Mm -hmm. And this box. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. Never had one of these guys. Mm. <laughs> That's cool, real monsters. Good, thank you. Some high end wrestling stuff here, man. What is this one? Mm, don't think it is. Check the date on the foot. Wow. There's some some serious pieces here. Jesus. Bought anything just yet? Enrico's bought a couple of bits. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's not bad. With weapon. Yeah. I know collect black star, but it's not bad. Ah oh, man, I got a cracker. Look. Yeah. Look at that man, that is serious. That's your dream too. Yeah, yeah, some serious pieces man. Look at these, look. Thank you. 
That's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, look. Called the Galaxy Warriors. Some really nice stuff here, man. Oh, look. Uh, Turbo Man has his wrist accessory with the extras. I'm getting uh, 120 on him. They got it there as well, look. 60, but that's with the Firmus. Clash mm -hmm. the Titans with the Firmus. I do really like that. I've never actually seen them. Yeah, I really like that. Some really good T-Man stuff here. Yeah. Mm. The party papers for him. Yeah. You see the crayon? Yeah, I see them, yeah. <laughs> I like the lunch bro. Check it out, man. Look. Oh, sorry, dude. It's got the thermos for you. What's that? Clash of the Titans. Yeah. Yeah, Master Universe. Oh yeah, I got that. I've got that already. Remember, I got it for Ken as well. We haven't got yeah. We've we've got it. We've started to get it now in the UK. Oh, that one anyway. <laughs> this is the new one. Yeah. In Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of you in there, look. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? 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 Oh, How much are they? How much? Really? Yeah. As you know. Let me have a look. They're the sort of things that I want. I need to get, man. Yeah, man. Take a look. Is there any more in there? You wish you getting? Was you going to grab all of them? No, if you want some, man, I'm just going to grab a few. But this you can make. Really good. Yeah, I'll probably get five bucks for them.
that's cool. I picked up on the boot sale about four years ago. I paid two pounds for it. This one. I'll make it hell of a deal for all four of them, man. <laughs> Still. How much is the puzzle, buddy? Ten. Ten. That's not bad. I might grab that. It's not a bad piece. It's just because I'm a ghostbuster. Thing, right? <laughs> That's it. You can tell by the weight. Sure. Oh no, it's That's got some toys. It's got a I don't know what to do with the puzzles when I get them, that's the problem. What do you guys think? Well, they're like coming back and uh, not the way they work. How much you got on that? Ten. Ten? That's all right. Cost, your food costs more than 10, your mine on its own. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the third Adam family you got up there. Yeah. So this is why you got to walk around. It's like, see, uh, she was 20 bucks on that other store, do you remember? Mm -hmm. It's why you have to, you can't just go bundling in sometimes, unless it's a really good price. Yeah. And then it's stay park. 40 bucks for a stay park. Mm -hmm. It's like... I mean, I'm not charging you. I'm not charging you.
Enrico. How much? 50. Oop. Yeah, I definitely got a skill. 12. No I see that as well, it's a cool figure isn't it? Yeah, he's pretty cool. How much is it? 60, yeah. No thank you. Oh, you did. And he's all free each in here, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Up. I don't normally buy comics, but it's a cool power. Can I grab one up? Yeah, What'd you say? You're completely what? I'm gonna like toy it out. Oh yeah. Like I'm like really just kind of. <laughs> if, it's, if it's good, then yeah. I know. I'm saying we'd be desperate. I wonder how much he is. That's what I'm saying. Decom decompose. Yeah. He was he was the one I picked up the other day. Do you remember? Yeah. What did they got on him? There's no price on him. <laughs> Where's the guy who runs the store? No, he's at the end. Ask him. It'd be interesting to know. I've seen him twice here today. This guy right here? The big guy, yeah. Enrico, look. Yeah. Narona. Yeah. Same place. Yeah. Same place, same prices, not moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dragon's there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never saw this one put together. Look at the tower trying to crypt the mask. Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. Why is your brother Don't bother Bob. Why is your brother Bob? Who? Very high. I'm still down there. <laughs> what's going on guys welcome back to the toy room now before um i go into the finds from the chicago toy show um i was just looking on my phone i just want to talk to you guys about um copper or copa i don't know how it's pronounced this whole thing that everyone's gone going on about at the minute about YouTube to do with this new uh, legislation that's come in quite a few videos have gone up recently with regards to uh, when this goes live I believe it's in January I've not done too much um, research on it I've watched a couple of videos I know Pixel Dan done a video about a week ago on it 
I don't know the implications um, and how it works, but people are saying to me, oh, about $40,000 si uh, fines and stuff like that. And I'm just reading up on it. So um, I've just picked up on a, a story here about YouTube creators uh, are worried and confused over the new kid video, um, Copa, Copa, again, I don't know how it's pronounced, rules and potential fines. And a lot of people are very confused at the minute. So basically what they're doing is, is that when you do a video, um, you have to, when you produce a video, you have to say whether the content is intended for children to designate whether, yeah, basically you've got to let, say whether they're for kids or not. Uh, many YouTubers are concerned about the new rules or hurt their money monetization. Now, I'm not concerned about that because I don't make any money from YouTube. Um, now, they're talking about fines. Basically, the law prohibits internet companies from collecting data from kids 13 and under, and YouTube was accused of violating this law. <clears throat> um, it goes on and goes on and basically says that the law allows penalties of up to $42,000 per violation. Now, quite a lot of the YouTubers that I know are currently talking about this, and some people are saying that they're potentially going to pull the plug on their channels. Now, Everything I'm seeing with regards to fines are in dollars. It's a lot of this in America. I don't know how much this is going to affect people in Europe with regards to this and, and how vigilant they're going to be on it. And I, I still don't really understand it. Um, someone hears it. My videos aren't directed to children, but I still may get fined $42,000 for making my videos as meant for adults because it isn't mature enough because it can easily be mistaken. I'm heartbroken, YouTube was my dream. Um, it's all very confusing, guys, it really is. Now, the problem I've got with my channel is my channel is not directed at kids, but it is family friendly, so clearly I don't constantly swear in my videos. Um, so, but they're not, but my, at the same time, my videos are more directed at adult collectors, what? I, I am an adult collector and we uh, my videos are not talking about um, the stuff that's currently for five or six seven year olds so I, I don't really know where my channel is going to go um, most of my titles involve the word toy when I go to the boot sales I'm toy hunting when I go to the toy shows I'm toy hunting and this is a massive problem because this is all about kids and and violations and stuff like that so there is a chance that my youtube channel may end up just stopping um to be honest with you before this happened i mentioned it a couple of months ago that i was thinking of potentially having a break from it anyway so this might come at a good time uh, i don't know i don't know i haven't got the answers guys i really ain't a lot of people a lot of people have been asking me People have been messaging me online and if I'm seeing people in person and a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion. Um, like I said, guys, I still don't even know the what, what it is or, or it, what you're not meant to do or what you are meant to do. And yeah, quite frankly, if they're going to be very uh, vigilant on it, I could do without a £40,000 fine for just putting out a 15 minute toy hunting video. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't believe it's going into full effect until uh, January, which is obviously only a few weeks away now. But yeah, we'll wait and see. Anyway, uh, on to the Chicago Toy Show. It was a really good show, guys. So um, I had previously just been to the flea market. So if you haven't seen that video, that's up as well. So I did pick up a few bits and pieces, um, some for resale and a few bits for myself. Uh, they were in, in, not into any particular order. Um, I'll, put, I'll show you guys some of the bits that I picked up for resale. So um, I picked up oh, how many is there? Really? I think there's one, two. I think there's eight, three, four. Oh no, it's not as many as that. Five, it looks like. So I picked up these Masters of the Universe um, vintage loot bag sets, all sealed. I've actually got one of these in my own collection, so I'm going to resell them. Masters of the Universe merchandise, still and still big at the minute in the UK, massive. Picked up a couple of more Dungeons and Dragons figures, little monsters there. 
I think I paid like five bucks for the two. This one was uh, was elastic band to this one. I think it was just like five bucks for the pair. Uh, got some more um, Ghostbusters bits. So these are different to the little bits and pieces that I picked up at the flea market. These have got Marshmallow Man little mini notepads in there and they've got a Ghostbusters eraser. So I'm selling, I've got one, two, three, I've got five here. Again, guys, these will be just little bits and pieces that I'll be selling on to collectors. Uh, another thing I picked up here, I picked up five uh, sticker sets from Return of the Jedi. So this is like 1983, yep, the year I was born. So I've got one uh, of this one, just self-adhesive. Self uh, I've got one of the ones with all the Ewoks on it. And then I've got three of this one. So that's got all the... Got all the baddies on it, Gamorian Guard, Stormtrooper, Vader's on there, Jabba the Hutt, Boba Fett, pretty cool. Not something you see too much of in the UK, so I've got them. They're pretty cool for resale. Uh, that was just thrown in a Popeye vintage as well, 1989, yeah, Popeye pocket puzzle. I'm probably going to give that to one of my friends. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. I picked up, you'll see in the back here actually, I've got a, I picked up a Space Ghost comic. I don't know what year this is from, but it looks really old. Pretty cool, I, think, I don't think I paid too much for that. And then I put these in the back. Let me just get them out because obviously coming home, on the trip home I wanted to make sure that they were protected. So this was the easy, easiest way to put them. We got some vintage 1983 Gremlin stickers. There we go, pretty cool gonna go straight into the collection with them and the Space Ghost comic. Uh, I've got these two off the same guy so we have got the soundtracks on vinyl for first off American Werewolf in London. Great film, great soundtrack as well and then I've got this more for the cover to be honest with you but uh, this is uh, Golden Voyager Sinbad obviously one of my favourites with regards to Ray Harry Harrison, let me just put them there. Uh, sticking to Space Ghost, I've been wanting a Space Ghost figure for a long, long time, guys. I see this at the very end. I think filming had stopped, I'm not sure yet because I haven't actually edited all the um, filming, but I don't believe I've got this on film. But I picked this up at the very end. Uh, I paid like $28 for this, I think. He wanted 30 but he knocked a couple off. So it's all cracked at the bottom here, but I'm probably I'm going to open it anyway because I. This is the Space Ghost Coast to Coast version, but it is Space Ghost. I like the original Space Ghost cartoons from like the 60s when I used to watch them growing up. I will open that. Uh, we're going to go on to like my most favourite pieces now. So these were being sold um, at the Chicago Toy Show, but I missed out on one. But there was a guy over there who's from the UK as well, David his name is, he picked up two because he said he weren't too sure if I had one or not and I didn't and he kindly let me have this. So this is a double sided vintage, I'm struggling to show you guys, so stripes on one side, I think yeah it's a Coca-Cola advert because it's got Coca-Cola company on the bottom and then on the other side you've got Billy. Gizmo is a Mogwai, so that's a double sided vintage mint poster. The guy who was selling these had Star Wars, vintage Star Wars ones as well. It'd be nice to get this framed, and yeah, it'd be nice to get it framed. I was going to say put it up somewhere, but there's no there's no way I'm going to be putting this up. Um, this was also a nice find, quite expensive for what it was. I think I ended up paying, I think he wanted 50 bucks for this. I ended up paying 40, which is about 33 pounds or something. But I've never seen one of these before. This is a Gremlins mini collection, um, and it's got it's got Gremlins crayons, which I've definitely never seen before. A couple of Gremlins rubbers. I have got some Gremlins rubbers in my collection, and a Gremlins notepad. But obviously, it's unopened. So you guys know with me when it comes to Gremlins stuff like this, I have to have. And although it was quite expensive for what it is, you got to remember this is like 35 years old. So, last but not least, I went round three or four times. I see this on different stalls. One price was sixty dollars, and it was it was mint, and it had the thermos. Another price was about forty-five without thermos, and I see another one for like forty. And I was like, I was really thinking, that, you know what, I'm going to go back for that later. Anyway, we walked around, and. 
Uh, I think I've got it on film. I hope I've got it on film. The guy who we see last Chicago Toy Show in April, I think Ken, my friend Ken might have bought a lunchbox off him. can't remember. Definitely bought something off him last time. And um, yeah, I've got this. Clash of the Titans. Vintage. Um, I think this is Aladdin. They're usually made by Aladdin. Is it Aladdin? I'm not too sure. Um, 1980? Yeah, 1980 lunchbox. I I think he said it was 18 and I paid 15. I said, would you take 15? And I paid $15 for this. I mean, look at that, that is great. It's double-sided. It is a little bit rough, but this side's more rough, but I prefer the other side with a cracker. So obviously uh, that side you can see like a bit worn. Look, it's even a little bit peeling there, but for viewing, that's the best side. That's the side I'm gonna display it on in the toy room. So I was really, that was probably the find of the show for me. There was a lot of other stuff there, guys, but nothing, you know, I, I'm not looking majorly for anything at the minute. I've always said I wanted a Clash of the Titans lunchbox, and you, if you wait, guys, and be patient, these things will pop up at a good price, just like the V cards. That was something I've been looking for for a while now, and I managed to get a full box of them at a good price. And then the odd bits you see that you think, you know what, I'm, wasn't looking for it but it's popped up i'll grab it um yeah i've been after one of these for a while again over here they don't pop up that often 30 bucks 28 bucks whatever he's getting up. i'll open them up later and display them so yeah that was it guys it was a pretty good show overall um like i said at this present moment in time i do not know where this channel is going to be going so um but Thanks for everyone's messages because obviously a lot of people do support the channel. The show is the channel is three years old this this month this month December, um, so 2016 December is when I started this channel. So um, yeah, it could potentially be the end. We'll have to just wait and see. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you ain't oh, I'm gonna say if you ain't subscribed, please consider to do so. But the channel might not be around for much longer. We'll have to wait and see. But I am on all social media, so I'm not leaving Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. I am on all three of them and obviously I'm quite prolific on um, putting pictures up and all that of the collection. But yeah, we'll wait and see guys. We'll see we'll see where this goes and um, I'm interested to get people's thoughts and, and understanding on what all this, this new legislation and what it means for people like my channel, small channels and that are we gonna end up closing. We'll wait and see. But guys, hope you all had a good weekend and enjoyed the video. And until the next video, hopefully, I'll do one in the next couple of weeks, before January, before we all know what's going on. I'll see you all then.